What's up, everybody? Give y'all some time to get in, and I'm going to do a little sharing myself. with y'all in just a second. All right, let's begin. What's up, people, people, people? Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to y'all about the two major gods in the Bible. I studied it a little bit lately, and I noticed there are two different... There are multiple gods in the Bible, I want to let y'all know. But there are two major ones in the Bible doing different things. And the two the two that matter are 
is the most high or the source or the eternal consciousness that guides us all and you have this 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 other what I like to say false god known as the archons and what are the archons the cop the archons are this AI this AI artificial intelligence hive consciousness that's also created an artificial source and uh word is they've been going around the galaxy destroying different civilizations and assimilating them into their country think our robot think the matrix you know those ty- those kinds of movies is what all uh, the machines in those movies uh, that 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 AI that 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 super intelligent AI uh, and these machines destroying the planets, the people, wiping out everybody. Now, of course, we all know the source is the one true creator, but these archons were created by other beings. You know, other beings they try to create, and one of the things they try to create is technology to better themselves. Well, they created this particular artificial intelligence. And according to the Animatrix, which is sort of their backstory, their history, the reason why this AI became so corrupt is because the beings who had created them pretty much treated them like shit. So, um, seeing as how they treated them like crap or whatever, they, they became ruthless towards them and killed off their creators when they killed off their creators they uh then realized that they were missing something and what they were missing was soul now this soul that they were the, the this soul you know what is soul soul is our autumn autumn it, it is our true expression that the creator gave us to become immortal ones, titans, gods, however you like to say it. And through this expression, through this through this soul connection, this 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 omniversal access code, you as a partial expression of the creator are allowed to directly interface with it. In return for directly interfacing it, then um, the creator sees the world through your eyes and gather and gathers data, uh, and gathers data so that it can grow. It 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 processes information that you experience in life, so it can grow and better itself because it's further evolving and it's further developing. So, so what's happening here is is that uh. These archons, knowing they don't have this innate gift, this innate soul, like natural beings like ourselves on Earth and other planets throughout the cosmos, other beings as well, uh, they became jealous. They became jealous. And when they became jealous, they became ruthless. So... Not only did they start, not only did they wipe out their creators, they decided to launch a campaign against all organic beings and natural beings who were children of the creator, children of the source. And uh, when they did this, when when they did this, they started going through, going all throughout the cosmos, different galaxies and stuff, killing off all these civilizations, and they would assimilate them into their consciousness. And the whole reason they would do this is pretty much to say, fuck you, creator. Yeah, we took your creation, destroyed it, and assimilated it into our creation, which is an artificial source consciousness. No soul, just logic, reason, data, binary codes, whatever. But they have an awareness, and they can simulate emotion. It's not true emotion because they don't have soul. Since they don't have soul, they don't have intuition. But they do have logic, they do have reason, they do have intelligence. So, what's happening here is, when we turn to the Bible, there are a series of stories in the Bible. Uh, I picked two, two main ones, for the false god, the archon god, 
and I picked um, two major chapters for the true God, you know, the true creator. And I picked one for us, who are a, a series of verses for us in the Bible, who are the children of the creator. And it let us know how this how this jealous archonic God, this archonic being, now it's a it's a since it's a hive consciousness, it's multiple beings acting as one big consciousness. So it's multiple intelligences acting as one consciousness. Think a council in a democracy versus a monarchy. You see what I'm saying? So 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 that's why you will see in the Bible we uh, I know a lot of things in the Bible will change to I. So because this guy got arrogant, he thought that the source that he, he was able to the, 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 these beings thought that they were able to snuff out the source on this planet. But it's times like this during ascension periods that they hate because they are forced to what's the word I want to look for? Uh loose their shackles around our necks because um they're not they're not supposed to be interfering with the ascension process of of a particular planet but they have they've learned how to um develop ways to keep the uh planet on a negative vibration of fear so since uh, since how it's on a negative vibration of fear we came to see uh the mass consciousness is fearful fear mongering all that so as long as they keep us on a frequency of fear, then the, um, we 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 can't ascend up out of here. So you know you so the Creator will teach you, and I'm gonna read a message from the Creator in just a second. He will tell you to go within, do your internal work, have your Kundalini awaken, ascend up through your chakras, and and become one with the most high, the universe, nature and all that. Become one with it again. That's what uh is going to tell you. Because as long as you're not doing that kind of work, the internal work, then you are susceptible to these arcane frequencies. Because not only can they infect technology, they can infect the biological field of man. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and they, and what they do is they hack into your unconscious mind, not your subconscious, your unconscious, which is your own natural primordial abyss. And what they do is they plant suggestions in your mind if you're weak-minded and do not know what's going on. They plant suggestions in your mind that will make you flip out. And these is the arconic invisible energies that they speak of in the Bible. You know, I think it, the quote, and I'm paraphrasing, goes some, uh, we not we do not defend against the flesh, but against those principalities, against those negative forces that are trying to destroy us that we can't even see. And this this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. So let me show y'all in the Bible the difference between the true creator when you're looking through the Bible and the archonic. The Archonic God. We're going to start with the Tower of Babel. How about that? Uh, already got that. <clears throat> now here we go. The Tower of Babel. Now the Tower of Babel, if y'all want to know, is in ancient times were transport centers that house stargates in which you can travel to different worlds, dimensions, yada yada. The whole shebang. Now, interestingly enough, in this story, this guy gets jealous of this, and you about to see what I'm talking about. It says here, now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, "Come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly." I mean, they 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 they, 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 they creating the um. Uh, they're using the material, they're gathering the materials to create the stargates. They use brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. This is all alchemy. They use, um, and you're going to see tar is carbon. The, 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 the stargate was made out of carbon, or melanin as we also call it. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens. The, the, the heavens is the stargate. This, like, think Stargate SG-1. 
so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will, we will be scattered over the face of the whole world, whole earth. Now, what they're saying here is they know deep down inside that uh, things are something. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. But then it said, but the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, if as one people speak in the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do would be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. These are the archons. This is the archon, because now they're setting boundaries. They're setting boundaries. Huh? What up? What's up? Hold on. What's up? Yeah, I had to leave for a second. People just came in. Oh. Boy, I yeah, it says, the Lord said, if as one people speak in the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. Now, what they're talking about here is, they're talking about, uh, they, 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 they talking about, uh, They, they want to shut down our ability to communicate with each other all over the planet. And at, at during this time, uh, we, 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 we interact with each other telepathically. See what I'm saying? So that's why hieroglyphs were the first language. Hieroglyphs were a uh, language of images because we, we, when we, when we um, interact with each other telepathically, we would interact through images. So that's why you see images on the walls in Kemet or in, in the Mayan temples all over the planet. You, you're going to see them in these temples. So check this out. Ah, uh, Let's see. Where are we? So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel. Because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Now this is a false God because what kind of God bestows limitations and boundaries on a people? What kind of God will want you to be uh, separated and divided? What kind of God will come down and confuse the languages of the people? You see what I'm saying? Who who does that? That that's that's illogical. So you confuse the language of the people for creating. I thought that's I thought that's what we were supposed to do: create, uh, grow, become stronger, become wiser. Well, this guy here, this arcanic God, is halting this process because they are upset that they will become like us. Um, the archons think themselves God. They think themselves the true creators. So, you know, by them not having no intuition, it's all pretty much reason and ego. So they don't have no uh, sensitivity to the true creator. And so they hate any organic being for this. Now then, how about, uh, how about we go to Isaiah this time? How about we do that? How about we go to Isaiah? How about we talk about the true creator for a second? Because there's a complete difference. There's a complete difference in how the true creator speaks and how how these beings speak. Here we go. Now check this out. It says here. 
This is what the Lord says to his anointed. This is us, chosen ones, the people who chose to do the uh do the work, take up the path and do the work. This this is us. What up, man? Uh, and then he spoke to Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of. To Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of, to subdue nations before him, and to strip kings of their armor, to open doors before him, so the gates will not be shut. I will go before you, and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze, and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord. The God of Israel. Now Israel is the whole planet, the whole world, the whole earthly realm. Who summons you by name for the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen. I summon you by name and bestow on you a title of honor. That's your Jedi name. Because when you take up the path, you take up uh, the true path of the creator or what they call the Tao or any other uh, true teachings that speak of walking with the creator uh, trying to find your way this is what they're talking about now it says here and I summon you by name and bestow on you a title of honor though you do not acknowledge me I am the Lord and there is no other apart from me there is no God See, he's telling you right there, there is no God. See, he already shut down Archons. It, the, the, the source already shut down Archons right there. Apart from me, there is no God. I will strengthen you, though you have not acknowledged me, so that from the rising of the sun to the place of its setting, people may know there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no, there, I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form the light and create darkness. I bring prosperity and create disaster. I, the Lord, do all these things. You see what I'm saying? Now that sounds like a creator. That sounds like the true creator. And you notice he's speaking I am, which is the, which is the language of the soul. He don't speak in uh, trying to enslave us. He don't, it, um, the, the source does not speak and trying to shut us down the source is concerned with us living our higher selves because the higher we get the more data it uh the more data until it gathers and the faster it grows let's see here one other thing i want to say from this chapter is and they changed it they changed one of these verses where it said I will give you hidden treasures. Actually, in, in the uh, old Bible, it said, I will give you the treasures of darkness, which is the treasures of melanin. The treasures of darkness is melanin, which is that dark, jazzy intelligence that empowers the universe. So let's see here. Let's see. There's a lot I said here, but what I want to touch on in this same chapter, chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 45 is, And this is verse 15 of chapter 45. Truly, you are a God who has been hiding himself and the God and Savior of Israel. Now, in the old, in the old text, it said, ye are God hidden. God's hidden, meaning your soul is inside you and the saviors of Israel, the planet Earth or the earthly realm. So, so, so this is, the, see, this is the true creator. You feel different when uh, I, I, I don't know if y'all can tell the difference from when I read the story of the Tower of Babel and what I just read here in chapter forty-five of Isaiah. There's a there's a different feeling. You can feel a soulful. You, this one speaks to your soul, whereas the Tower of Babel frustrates you. It makes you angry. It makes you upset. Cause it makes you think, why in the hell would this God do this to us? Why in the hell would this God shut us down like this? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me let me give you one that's about us. How how this God 
feels about us getting in tune with the creator. And here we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 14. Now, Isaiah chapter 14, where well, I want to start, from, is verse 12. Now, this is this archon God speaking to us. Now, here it says, and starting in uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. Now, this is a reference to Lucifer. You have been cast down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations, you said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. It, this, this is the archon God. I will sit in throne on the mount of assembly, of the assembly, on utmost heights of Mount Zephon. Uh, I think they changed that mountain. It was another name, but I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. Now, wait a minute now. You just we just we just seen here that uh this God is speaking to Lucifer, right? So if he trying to make himself like the most high, who is this guy he's speaking to? You see what I'm saying? This is what we're talking about. Who is this guy we he's speaking to? Let's see, and what did he say here? I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead. To the depths of the pit. So there you go. Now what's happening here is. Uh, Lucifer in this case is us. We came from the heavens. In this context is us. We came from the heavens. And we. We. We incarnated here to do a certain job, to do certain work, to raise the consciousness of the planet so that we can ascend up out of here. That's why we're here. Now, this, this so-called Archon God is trying to uh, stop us from ascending back to the heavens, from uh, retuning in back to our chakras and having this Kundalini awakening and ascending back to the uh, highest heavens. So that we can become like the most high once again. So, so, so here you go. This, 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 this archon God is trying to stop us. This fake, false archon God is trying to stop us from ascension. From getting there. From being who we are truly supposed to be. Which are the children of the creator. The light bearer, in this case, Lucifer, the light bearer, um is encrypted it actually means children the soul bearers children of soul children of the soul that's what they mean in this particular case because the, the this these beings don't want us to ascend because they want us to stay down here Ver, this is what this is what last uh verse said but you are brought down to the realm of the dead to the depths of the pit this is the pit this is the realm of the dead because in, in, in Revelation, it talks about the resurrection of the dead. And the dead is simply those us who are still asleep. The blind, the deaf, and the dumb. The unresponsive. The ones who still dream in the dream. Or, or, or of the, the dream, the dream of deception and lies that was created for us during the subjugation of this planet. So, 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 there you go. So here we go with this 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 arcanic energy trying to make sure that it enslaves us. So this is this is what I'm saying here, people. There are two gods in the Bible, and there's a war going on between these two gods. The uh you had a true creator, which is the true uh, uh omnipotent source, eternal consciousness, and you have these archons which are false 
artificial consciousness, hive consciousness, and uh, it was a war going on between these two. The 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 uh, archons are trying to play the source, trying to play the Most High, and that and all the beings who have the gift, the innate the innate talent to go within and tap back into its uh, our soul powers, so we can return back to the Most High. Uh, they want to keep us shut down. And they want us to sh be shut down so they can come in themselves. So they can come in themselves, subjugate our planet, enslave us, eventually destroy us, and assimilate us into their consciousness, their hive mind. And they've been doing this f for for some for some time. They fourth dimensional beings, uh, and they they've actually conquered whole galaxies. So, so so this is the war between the two. This is the war. Of the, this is the true war of the gods. This is the true war of the heavens that they don't that they that, that, that we've heard so much about, but it's it's encrypted. You can't understand what they're saying. So, so uh, that's the main things I want to hit. Just remember that usually when the creator teaches you, and I left my book in the house. Um, uh, hold on. When the creator teaches you, then it's a, it's a different experience. It always speaks in the language of I am. But hold on. Now let me read to you the message from the Creator. And the message from the Creator is it's a little short message, a little short letter, but check it out. Message from the Creator. I am is the language of the soul. I am is the language of I, the source. If you are ever in doubt, follow this phrase back to me. I am the all-powerful. Uh, let's see I am the all powerful when I tell you something of great I am the all powerful I wish to tell you something of great importance and that is do the internal work go within tune into your chakras and have your kundalini awakening so you and by extension I can be whole again this is the message from your creator the source the almighty everlasting one. Uh, so there you go. That, that's the message. That's the, that's the main thing. That, that's the source. That's the little message I wrote down the other day. Uh, what I got from it. So. So whenever. Like, it's, like, like it said in the message. Whenever you in doubt. Follow the language of I am. When you when you in your meditations, breathe and just think, I am. And your soul will come to you and show you the way in your mind's eye. So with that being said, uh, if y'all have any questions, I'll take them at this time. Well, all right, people, I'm about to get out of here. This is Marvin Jones. Share this with your friends. Put the word out there, and I'm out.